Okay, one cool thing about the ColecoVision, yeah, I showed you here, we got some homebrew games. People are actually making video games for the system years after it's been discontinued. Yeah, the ColecoVision officially died, ceased production in 1984, yeah, and the Coleco Company was in major trouble because of the whole failed Adam and all that. But people still love the system. It was very revolutionary for its day and it probably would have survived a lot longer if it wasn't for that damn market crash and E.T. and Batman and all that shit. <laughs> Let me show you one of the crown jewels in my collection. Yep. Coast Blaster. That is so cool. I don't know how in the world somebody can actually do this. It's just like a regular cartridge but see-through. Yeah, and there's the creator himself, right there. From Daniel Benino, thanks for the video, October 15, 2009. I got an autograph, that's awesome! Name any video game where somebody autographs it to you. Oh, you might have limited editions out there and all that, but no, I got one that's autographed! <laughs> that's so cool! Uh, this is one of the coolest games I got in my collection, uh, in my video game collection period. Yeah, the only other game I got autographed is this one here. Yeah, Star Souls 1, stop copying the nerd asshole. Yeah. And look what fucking game it is. Yeah. Screw that shit. Ghost Blaster, that's beautiful, man. See the moon. Yeah, CCJVQ. Yeah, those are some familiar. Special 10th anniversary. Look at that. This is copyright. 2007 ColecoVision. Ooh. But this Ghost Blaster game isn't like that terrible NES game I reviewed. No, this one is a side scrolling action game. Just like a Ghostbuster game should be. If you remember Angry Nintendo Nerds video, yeah, it's a actual action game, just like this game. Haha, <laughs> the actual Ghostbuster game that he actually liked. This is actual action. So let's check it out. Woo, 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 woo baby. Who are you gonna call? Yeah, I'm talking about Ghostbuster here. Not Ghostbusters, but Ghostbuster. Ed from Utah is uh, Peter Bankman's like brother or cousin or something. And since he had sets with the uh, mayor's daughter, he can't use the uh, Ghostbusters name because they're from New York or something and he lives in Utah. <laughs> so yeah, now <laughs> he's a Ghostbuster, but he's a Ghost Blaster now. Legal loophole. So now we got uh, the whole new Ghost Blaster game here for the ColecoVision. Yeah, and so has that classic music too. Dun, 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 dun. Who are you gonna call? Ghost Blasters! Yep, so this is a cool homebrew cartridge actually made by, yeah, Daniel Bindanov. Oh, <laughs> maybe I'm not the right person to review this game because uh, if you know me and Jay, uh, we're kind of assholes when we review games. Anyway, yeah. Home Alone sucks. If you buy it, your wife will leave you. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's Barbie. Super Bowl. Oh, it's an extreme already. Stream, shove up the ass. Ain't gonna be hard on it, but still, <laughs> let's give her a shot. Oh no, a house is haunted. The game gives you the option of using a button to jump, or you can press the up button to jump. Very cool feature. I actually like pressing up to jump, because it's just like the classic Smurf game. <laughs> Gotta know that one for ColecoVision, eh? This is all action, baby. And another thing you gotta be careful of is the ghosts themselves. They'll come in and try to kill you. <laughs> the ghosts constantly respawn, but if you kill them enough, boom, you're safe to move around the level all you want now. No ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. And this is actually a good strategy. Kill all the ghosts, and now you're free to explore the level all you want. Collect all the letters, collect all the gems, and boom, you've completed the level. In later levels, it's not going to be so easy. The ghosts get much faster. So one good strategy is try to get rid of the ghosts, make sure they're not in your hair when you're collecting all these gems in the house. 
Because remember, you don't get all the gems, you don't complete the level. So I recommend getting rid of the ghosts as soon as you can. And the, these early levels here, that's not a problem. The ghosts are nice and slow. They don't put much of a fight. But later on, they get faster. They're tougher to kill. And they'll take the more damage off your uh, life meter up there. And you also have to worry about using too much of your beam. The more you use it, the more it goes down. You can still fill it up with few special beam power-ups, but you need to find them first. Yeah, look how fast this game is. Very intense. There's nothing like it for the ColecoVision. That jumping is a little tricky, but hey, once you get used to it, it's not too bad. And look at that. This game actually has Parallax Thrown. And this is a ColecoVision game. I remember games for the Sega Master System and original Nintendo. A lot of them didn't have Parallax Thrown. I don't know why this game has it. There's tons of action, tons of strategy you can use. Do you try to kill the ghosts off first? Or bust the ghosts first? Do you try to get all those gems and all those letters? Holy! <laughs> this is a great game that the system needed. A very cool, fun, and accessible action platformer. Yeah, so don't expect the easy game either. This game is hard. Come back. Come here, you. Die, yeah! <laughs> Alright, so you wanna come back? Believe me, the later levels, the ghosts get insanely fast. Whoa! <laughs> Fortunately, the game does let you practice the later levels. Level sits and up. The game starts off nice and easy so you can learn the game, and then it gets gradually more difficult. And that's what good games should do. And each level has their own amount of secrets too. Like secret platforms you can use, tricks to be in it faster. Okay, the jumping is a bit wonky sometimes. And it's weird that there's only one enemy on screen at the time. And you're always finding ghosts, but hey, that's what Ghostbusters is. Or Ghost Blaster. You're fighting ghosts. <laughs> like, listen to that music. <laughs> that's so awesome. It sounds even better than the Nintendo version. <laughs> Either way, it's good stuff. <laughs> Good animations on the characters, well designed stages that progressively get more complex, excellent jumping platform mechanics. What more can you want? Ghost Blaster. For the Coolico Vision, it gets an 86 out of 100. Definitely a very cool game. If you got Coolico Vision, you gotta try this out. I can't believe I'm playing a game this good on my old Coolico. <laughs> I'm used to playing classic arcade games like Zadzon, Donkey Kong, and those games are great, but well, you just got such a cool technical achievement, a work of art like this, playing on an old school machine. This is amazing. Even that stupid ghost character I created in that one review would like this game. And he's a fucking ghost. <laughs>